everybody, and welcome to your Daily Dose at Home. I'm Annie, and I'm the Chevron Open Minds Zoo School Coordinator here at the Calgary Zoo. As you just saw, here at the zoo we have two very cool Komodo dragons. Komodo dragons live in the island of Komodo and the surrounding island area. There's a legend in Komodo that humans and Komodo dragons come from the same mother. Our two Komodo dragons are brothers. We have to keep them separate so they don't fight over food. If you've got a brother or sister, you might understand how that is. Our Komodo dragons are named after characters in the Inheritance Cycle series by Christopher Paulini. Shrukin, he was born one week earlier, and he's a little bit more reserved. His brother Thorn was born a week after him. He hatched from his egg, and he's more inquisitive and more eager especially for things like what you saw in the Daily Dose when they switch them in their habitat areas. So I've got here a skull that I want to use to show you some of the cool adaptations that Komodo dragons have. Komodo dragons have really sharp teeth, like a shark's. You might notice that you can't really see their teeth very well in their mouth. That's because they're pretty short and they're surrounded by really thick gum tissue. And in that tissue are venom glands. So when a Komodo dragon bites, it actually has venom. One of the things that I think is the coolest about Komodo dragons is their Jacobson's organ. That means that when they stick out that forked tongue, they can capture particles in the air, and then they press it against the roof of their mouth, and they use that kind of like a super smell sense. Komodo dragon's sense of smell is so strong that they can smell something that's four kilometers away. That would be like me here at the zoo being able to smell the burgers at Peter's Drive-In four kilometers away. They can also eat 80% of their body weight in one meal. That would be a lot of burgers. So I think they are some of the coolest animals in the world and here at the Calgary Zoo. Today, we're challenging you to figure out how you could feed a Komodo dragon and share with us your favorite recipe. Find it in the link that's attached to this video. Thank you for tuning in to your daily dose at home, and thank you for supporting wildlife conservation.